Hey guys, welcome back to Help a Function. In this video, we will discuss a popular interview question, squares of sorted array. So the problem statement says that, given an array of integers a sorted in non-decreasing order, return an array of squares of each number also in sorted non-decreasing order. So we just need to return the squares of elements in sorted order. Let's look at the example. Now for this array, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, my answer would be 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. It looks like we just need to square each element and they would already be in sorted form. But the problem arrives when we have negative numbers like in this example. If we just square the elements, we will get this array which is not in the sorted form. So we need to make it sorted and then output the answer. So let's see how we will solve it. The brute force approach to solve this problem would be squaring each element and sorting the array. But this will not work in an interview as the time complexity is O of n log n. So let's see how we will solve it in linear time complexity. As the negative numbers are square to positive number, we will have to check for the smallest negative number and the largest positive number in order to get the maximum number. Now because this array is sorted, we can have two pointers to track the smallest negative number and largest positive number. Let's call this left pointer and right pointer. So we will try to get the maximum number and fill our answer array from backside. So let's solve this example. So we compare the squares of minus 4 and 10 and as 100 is greater, we push 100 in our answer and decrement the right pointer. Now as 16 is greater than 9, we will push 16 in our answer and increment the left pointer. Now 9 is greater than 1, so we will push 9 and decrement the right pointer. Now 1 is greater than 0, so we will push 1 and increment the left pointer. Now as left pointer and right pointer are pointing to same element, so we will push 0 and thus we got our answer in sorted form. Thus this problem can be solved using two pointer technique. Now let's look at the code. We will be given with a vector array A. N represents the size of the array. Left and right are, is our two pointers. Left is initially at 0 and right is pointing to the last element. Position is the pointer for updating my answer vector. Initially it is at n minus 1 because we will be updating the largest number first. Here we compare the squares of a and left and a of right and whichever is greater we update our answer to that and increment or decrement the pointer accordingly. So if a of left square is greater we will update our answer with that and increment the left pointer. Otherwise, we will update our answer with a of right square and decrement our right pointer. Every time we will be decrementing our position pointer and this while loop will work till position is greater than or equal to 0. And finally, we will return the answer vector. So let's dry and run with this example. So initially, my left is at minus 7 and right is at 11. So as 121 is greater than 49, we will push 121 in our array and decrement the right pointer. Now as 49 is greater than 9, we will push 49 and increment the left pointer. Now here both lefts and right squares are same, so we will push 9 and increment the left pointer. Here 9 is greater than 4, so we will push 9 and decrement the right pointer. Now my left and right both are pointing to 2, so we will push 4. Here position will become minus 1 and the while loop will terminate and thus we will return this answer. Now the time complexity to solve this problem is O of n. As we are using a single traversal, we are using an answer vector to store our answer. So this space complexity here is also O of n. So this was all about the problem. I have put the problem link in the description. You can go and check it out. Thank you for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to the channel for more such videos.